So whenever you take a photo um, and you're uploading that photo into Instagram, most people just would post it with their content and maybe use a few hashtags and that's it. Well, you're missing out on a big opportunity with your geotagging because what happens is, is that if when you decide to start your, know, should you just start, should you start using geotags, it will show your location. <clears throat> and what you want to start focusing on in place, say for instance, if you're an agent and you're doing a lot of sales in a particular area or geographical territory, you should, you know, if whether you're out front of that property or whether you're inside the home, you take a photo or a video, you should tag that location. It's like breadcrumbs. So what happens is people who are on those hyperlinks, or should I say those geo tags, if you look at the tag, most of them will have a large amount of actual posts that have been posted there. So what happens is you have a top post section and top post section and at the bottom are the remaining photos. So if you are being consistent with posting in a particular area, your photos are gonna to start to pop up in the top post section. And what that does is it allows people to one, see you, it allows them to get you, allows you to get your presence or your brand or your marketing out there in front of those people that you want to see it specifically in a geographical area. And then two, you pick up new followers that way. And what I always do when I use the geotag is I don't just post, I actually go back in and I like every one of the top posts and I like everyone that's actually uh, associated to that tag. Because what happens is, is that people want to know that you're interested in them as well. You know, it's one thing to post something, but to, to increase engagement, you want to jump over and start commenting on those other people's photos. You don't have to comment on every one. But let's just say if there are 100 in there, it'd be okay to come in on five or six of them, but like all 100 if you have the ability to do so. So that can be a little bit tedious, but I've learned through time and how I've been able to, been able to build my account. So you got nothing else to do, just sit there and like a bunch of photos and comment on them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course. And, uh, you know, you have to be strategic about it. There's a lot of other people out there that might be thinking, oh, I just need to go out there and, and like and comment things. But you have to be doing it in the right way, targeting the right, right. You know, tags. And, and just to, just on that, like, you, can you maybe walk us through specifically uh, how you do that? Like, okay, so you, you jump on Instagram and then what's, what's kind of the next steps? Can you walk us through that? Yeah, I usually try to, you know, each day I, I have my content, all my photos are already pretty much pre-selected on what I'm going to post. So I always try to post a lifestyle post, meaning showing where I am. So let's just say, for instance, uh, you know, where my office is today, I actually posted me walking outside, showing the community, showing where we moved into our new office. And then, I, then I'll, uh, later today, I'm going to tag that, that, that specific location. Actually, lights went out here, so sorry about that. They'll come back on in a second, they're on a timer. But the, um, when I tag that location, what I then do next is, is that I come up with the content that I want to write. So it's more story, storytelling, like really sharing you know, here's where I am, here's what I'm doing, and here are things you may want to know about this area, this location, cool things to see or do, or here's what's coming. And then once I'm done, I actually will go in and I'll select the actual geotag location. And sometimes there can be several where you are. What you want to do is you want to look at the ones that have the most posts on them, where people are posting the most. You know, where it's almost like seeing a group of people that would gather to a specific area or like you can see with a stadium, and they're just posting a lot of photos and content. And those are the tags that you want to select. And if you already know this, specific tag has a lot of follow, a lot of actual posts on it you can go ahead and select that if you aren't sure you may have to post first and then come back and, uh, and then change the locations after you look at a couple of them but that's typically what i do i pre-select my photos on my videos then i come up with my own content on my copy and i go ahead and i post it and it's always about lifestyle if i'm i, I very rarely will post i think if you go look at my page you won't see anything that shows just sold or you know call ride if you want to buy a home it's more lifestyle it's more about who i am as a person and people that i'm connected with and what i'm doing day to day 